Coloring art Hello friend! I want to color a rooster. While coloring, we learn about the history of chickens. Okay, let's get straight to it. Roosters have a rich history intertwined with human agriculture. Domestication likely occurred in Southeast Asia around 8,000 years ago. They played a crucial role in providing meat and eggs. Roosters also gained cultural significance, symbolizing courage and vigilance in various societies. Cockfighting, a controversial practice, has roots in ancient cultures and remains in some regions despite widespread opposition today. Roosters are iconic symbols in folklore, art, and even national emblems, reflecting their enduring impact on human civilization. Roosters became symbolic in various cultures, representing courage, vigilance, and fertility. Cockfighting, a practice with deep historical roots, played a role in their cultural significance. In ancient Greece and Rome, roosters were associated with the god of war, Ars, Mars. The ancient Greeks associated them with the sun god Apollo. While in Chinese folklore, they symbolize fidelity and punctuality. Roosters also hold significance in religious rituals and folklore worldwide. Roosters have been domesticated for thousands of years. They played a crucial role in agricultural societies, serving as alarm clocks with their crowds and as guardians of flocks. Roosters have also been symbolic in various cultures, representing courage, vigilance, and fertility. Cockfighting, although controversial, has been a historical aspect of some societies. Today, roosters are kept for poultry farming as pets and continue to be important symbols in folklore and art. Through trade and exploration, chickens spread globally. In the Americas, Christopher Columbus introduced chickens on his second voyage in 1493. Roosters continue to be essential for sustenance and cultural practices. Roosters have different physical characteristics than female chickens in general. Male chickens tend to have a larger body size than female chickens. These include body length, shoulder width, and height. The feather color of a rooster can vary depending on the breed. Some roosters have brighter or more contrasting feather colors than hens, perhaps to attract mates or display strength. A male chicken's comb is usually larger and more prominent than a female chicken's comb. The comb is the red, grooved part on top of a chicken's head that often indicates its reproductive state. Roosters may have longer tails and be more strikingly colored. Tail shape and length can vary between chicken breeds. Some roosters have thicker, more prominent color or neck feathers, often as part of a display to attract attention from the female. Each breed of rooster has its own characteristics, for example, some breeds have pant leg feathers covering their legs. These traits may vary depending on the type and breed of rooster being considered. The life cycle of a rooster begins as a chick young chicken and develops into an adult chicken. The main focus of his role lies in the process of reproduction and egg fertilization in the context of agriculture or livestock. Roosters are born as chicks with hens at this stage. They do not show any marked sexual differences as time goes by. Roosters experience growth and reach the stage of puberty. At this stage, secondary sexual characteristics begin to appear, including changes to the comb, tail, and feathers. Upon reaching sexual maturity, the rooster's primary role is to play a role in the reproductive process. They begin to exhibit typical behaviors such as flapping their wings and howling to attract the attention of the hen. Roosters are active in finding and selecting partners for mating. This process involves a mating dance and a series of distinctive behaviors. Designed to attract a hen, this life cycle repeats itself naturally in chicken populations. 
The rooster continues to perform its reproductive role throughout its life. Finish. Hope you like it.